Hey guys, there's been uh, a lot of videos uh, posted today about the Amtrak uh, train crash in Virginia that happened earlier today. And a lot of theories and things going around, so I thought I would give my two cents on what I kind of think might have happened. Uh, now this is all just going based on current information. I don't really have much of anything to base it on, but here it goes anyway two uh, schools of thought, one more likely than the other. Uh, first off, I want to show uh, a map. And this appears to be the area where it happened, from best guess. And that's a straight shot, as you can see. There would be the crossing, straight line shot. So you could see for quite a ways. Well, I've read a few different... Uh, people that were on the train and here's one of them here Republican David uh, Kustoff from uh, Tennessee he was on the train that crashed but he does not think that they slowed down at all it appeared they were going the same speed they had been traveling and it may have been 70 miles an hour give or take now from my best uh, thinking and stuff that I've looked into I mean, obviously a train cannot stop on a dime. We know that. Common sense. But, they always try to at least slow down. They do what they can, even if it's a last minute decision. You still apply the brakes, which would have been a very hard jolt, and everybody on the train would have known it. I mean, there would have been no secret. And especially since it was a straight line, as you can see, then... Uh, <clears throat> He should have had some idea. Not saying that anything could have prevented it, but he should have. So one of my theories could be if the uh, train engineer, you know, everybody's wanting to talk about the garbage truck and how that plays into the conspiracy. That could have been just by chance. But nobody has said anything to the effect of, what if the train engineer was anti-Trump, uh, GOP, the whole nine yards, and saw this as a, quote, opportunity. Sees the, uh, the truck there, maybe when he first spots it, he doesn't know the size, you know, depending on how far back he was. And he just kept going, same speed, and hit it. Hoping that maybe he could either hurt, maybe even kill, which didn't happen, thankfully, uh, some of the GOP members, or at least slow them down on their retreat to the Greenbrier. Which is also, uh, it's, it's not classified anymore, hasn't been for a long time, but that used to be the spot where the Congress and Senate and everybody would go if there was a nuclear attack. Kind of interesting. And there has been speculation and, you know, the term has been thrown around about the memo that everybody's waiting to read. That that could have nuclear consequences, you know, far-reaching. So a lot of symbolism comes into it. But that's just kind of my uh, thought is who's to say that, like I said, the Amtrak uh, train engineer didn't uh, do it intentional. He saw the truck there and just went for it. Now... Is there anything to back that up? No, I haven't heard anything mentioned or any info on the engineer himself. So if anybody finds out his name or anything, uh, put it down in the comments and let me know about it. And if need be, I'll make another video and either update or change kind of my thoughts depending on what new information comes out. So, and then there's another thought, which this is very, very unlikely. But I'm still going to throw it out there because I'm surprised nobody on the left has thrown it out there. And that is, with the State of the Union last night and Trump mentioning a $1.5 trillion infrastructure uh, bill. So, railroads, rail crossings, all kinds of things need fixed. You know, more rail traffic, you know, we need updates. This is not a rare occasion. Things do happen. And it could have been a bad crossing, could have been a lot of things. So who's to say something like this couldn't have been somewhat intentional to get the infrastructure bill passed? You know, to kind of make it 
national headline news of, hey, this needs fixed. And with the senators and everybody being on board, and not all GOP members are necessarily in favor of everything Trump does, so could it have been a way to sway people? Possibly. I highly doubt it, because I don't see that being the type of issue that would warrant something of this level, but just throwing that out there is a a very off-the-wall you know, thing that maybe somebody on the left might throw out at some point. Who knows? Crazy idea, but you never know nowadays. So that's just kind of my uh, two thoughts if you want to look at it from a, a non-biased you know, biased point of view, not looking at it just one side or the other. Granted, it's a little hard to look at it as a Republican causing it type of thing, but you know, that was the scenario that I could come up with. So if anybody's got any comments or anything, uh, please uh, leave it down below. And if anybody, like I said, finds out any more information about the train conductor, engineer, or whatever, uh, maybe who was in charge of setting this charter up, you know, because they chartered the whole train so no one else was on it. So that's kind of information I'm still looking for. So if anybody, like I say, finds anything, let me know and I will make another video to update this one if need be, if new info comes out. But please uh, like, favor, subscribe, you know, all that typical stuff. And I will catch you guys on the next video.